Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my video where today I am going to show you how to build a teapot house. So let's get with the tutorials. So right here I already made the layout. Um, this is going to be the house base and this is the weapon box wide. So we start from the full press marine bricks and start from here make five blocks wide and then we move to this side and make two blocks here and then we rotate make one block and then another five and repeat this until you make a full circle shape now that we have the shape it's time to make the floor so you want to make another layer with the exact shape but cover the entire layer with floor so use these old planks and start filling them up Okay, so now we have the floor and we are going to start working on the wall. So start from the regular full smooth part blocks and cover all of these corners, five blocks like this, and then two, and then rotate two blocks and repeat this until you get the full circle shape. Okay, so the first wall layer is done, it's time to move to the next layer, up. So start from this corner over here, make a temporary block, and make two blocks like this. And then you can destroy this one. Okay, so now the first wall layer is done, it's time to move. Okay, so now we're going to move to the next layer. So start from this block, make two blocks like this, and then make a temporary block, and place three blocks like this. And now you can remove this one, and then make another two, and make an L shape, and start rotating, and then repeat this step until you get a full circle shape. Okay, the second layer is done, and now we're going to work on the third layer. So start from this block, make five blocks wide, like this. And then we are going to move to this block and make two blocks, like this, and then one. And then start rotating, make two blocks, and then five and repeat this until you get a full circle shape and we want to repeat these for the next two layers And for the next layer, we are going to repeat this one. So make three blocks like this, and then two, and then an, and then an L shape like this, and another two, and I repeat this again. Okay, that's starting to take a shape and for the next layer we are going to make another five blocks start from this block like this and then we're going to make two blocks like this and then start rotating and make another two blocks and repeat this
So for the next layer, we are going to place a temporary block in here. And you want to make 2 times 5 blocks like this. And then you can remove this block. And then make 2 times 2 blocks like this. And repeat this step. And now we have this shape. So let's move to prismarine bricks and place bricks like this. And now we're going to use the stairs. So place a temporary block like this and then upside down stairs and make it five upside down stairs like this. And rotating temporary block and another upside down stairs. Okay, now move to quartz slab and place on the corners like this. And now we want to move to quartz stairs and start working with this one, this side. Make five quartz stairs and then rotate. Make another five. And now we are going to work on this side, this inside part. We are going to use the upside down stairs. Just make it square shape and fall like this. And now we are going to use quartz stairs and place three quartz stairs like this. And then cover this up with quartz slabs. There you go, we have the main teapot shape now. So now we're going to work on the tricky part. So take prismarine bricks and place them in here, on this corner right here, and make two times two blocks like that. And move to the next layer, make three blocks like this, and rotate and make another like that. And make another like this. And we want to move to the upper side. So make another two like this. And then another two. And we are going to work on three blocks on top like this. And another four about three times. Like that and another two blocks like this and then add another one and start with the upper side like this one and one and make another block on top and another block outside and now we are going to make the handle so move over to this side and make another 2 times 2 blocks like this and move to the next layer and make another 2 times 2 and then another corner like this and this time make a L shape and make it 3 blocks high like this and make another L shape and add 2 blocks right here now we want to make another 2 times 2 blocks and add another one at the corner like that. You might want to add this but it's optional or you want to make that with slabs, that's also fine. Okay now the house is looking good, all we need is windows, doors, maybe some chimney and also the interior. Now I'm not going to show you the tutorials but you can watch how I did it and the time lapse. So enjoy!
bag done, the build is done, and now I'm going to take you for some tour. So we start from here, I actually made the landscape with some custom forest and also some pathways here with some lights of course and bushes and flowers. So you are feel home from here. Over here I made a terrace which we can sit and hang around and maybe look at the village and maybe look at our garden and hang around. Well, there's nothing much here, but it's simple, it's cozy, but it's nice. <laughs> okay, let's get inside. Welcome, welcome inside. Um, over here, we have an armor stand. We can hang our hats or maybe armors here once we get home. And then over here, I made a living room. We can chill and maybe talk and maybe look at the creeper hat. And over here, I made a reading corner. And again, with a window view, it's facing a forest right here. It's kind of nice. Um, maybe we can read here and take some books or maybe play music in a jukebox. And over here, I made a closet and storage room with a sleeping loft upstairs. We'll get in there later. And over here, I placed some chests and barrels and an armor stand for, well, whenever we want to go adventure or have a raid. We have to prepare, right? I got some plants here to make things nice <laughs> and also well well that's it <laughs> okay head to the sleeping loft up here it's small whoa <laughs> but it's cozy because it's only for sleeping right but i do like the view from up here where we can look at our living space downstairs and it's really spaceful and over here I added some hanging plants and over here I made a chandelier fan chandelier or fan um <laughs> I don't know I don't actually remember where I get this design but it's really simple and I like it and on the ceiling I also added some white glazed Terracotta. I really love this um, pattern, so that's why I use it. Some uh, on the ceiling, but because it's waste terracotta, we have to combine it with some other blocks. So I combine it with quartz slab, and that's why we. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have that pattern, just on the corners. Okay, and the last one is the kitchen and the dining room. So maybe we can cook here, uh, take our ingredients or open up some cabinets. And maybe while we wait for something to cook, we can look inside, watch some our friends, maybe chill or hang around, eat some cake. Or maybe look outside here. To be honest, this is my most favorite view. Oh look, the this is actually my favorite view because I really like how the forest and the pathways and also the terrace is in the one spot. And then I made this dining corner over here so we can have something to eat while we look outside. Oh, it's really cozy. Yeah, I really like this. Well, okay, I guess that's it for today's tour video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. And maybe give it yourself a try to make your own teapot house. And see ya. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye.